Hello, hello, and welcome to the ad store where you come to buy. I would hope you would come to buy ads here. I understand you're looking for a hat. <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. Well, you'll be happy to know that we have many, 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 many options here today. And by many, I mean we have about three. So, I figured let's let's get some information from you and then we can uh, just get you sized up for a hat. Does that sound like something we can do? You're goddamn right it does. Okay. Now, before we start, let me just get some information from you, of course. Um, do you know what the measurements are for your hat or your head size and all that stuff? No. No, not that one. The other one. No, you don't. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I can take those measurements for you today free of charge. That is until I add a charge of $200 on your final bill, but we won't talk about that now. So, so I have this trusty measuring tape here that I use to measure stuff. Now, this isn't a measuring tape for, say, people, uh, more for wood and uh, other such objects, but that won't stop me from trying to make it work on a person. So, if you could just... I guess stay now you naturally will and I'll just measure this around your head, I guess. You have a very curvy head. You have a very curvy head indeed. That's okay, we have we have hats to fix that. So So we're all measured up. I'll uh, I'll start bringing out the hats here that may or may not fit you. I think the measurement is just a suggestion, so we'll see how it goes. Now the first step is a classic. You can pair it with a suit, perhaps, or maybe maybe being shirtless in on the beach, or really it's it's good for any kind of occasion, I would say. So the very first hat we have is a, a typical baseball flat cap. Now these flat caps are classic because, like I said, you can pair them with pretty much anything. I mean, have you seen someone wear a tuxedo with this hat? I bet you haven't, but you could be the first. You could be the first person to ever wear a hat like that with a tuxedo. Now, this hat... Now, this hat is very adjustable. It has how many holes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven holes. Many to choose from. That is, uh, we only have the one at the moment. The Equipe de Hockey pour Quebec, Montreal Canadian, which is the Montreal Canadiens. Very uh, terrible hockey team right now, but that doesn't matter. You can still rep the classic brim baseball flat cap hat uh, to your will's content. And uh, I guess I'll model it for you. It says Canadien on the back. But uh, I can model it for you. If you want, I can do like a fancy turn. And you know, you can see what it would look like sideways. It looks great, doesn't it? Let's try it on you. What do you think? Does it enhance your figure? You think it works sideways? Okay, well, I will I will just take that off your head and I will throw it in the, uh, the maybe pile, I suppose, right over here. Now, another hat we have with us today is this lovely classic hat that was popular decades ago, but uh, not so much anymore. Uh, the classic, you all know and love it on the internet, the fedora. Now, the fedora, is lovely because it has such a reputation for being uh, it has a reputation for being a hat of glass it has a reputation for being a hat of glass now you can wear the fedora classic hat with uh, a variety of different clothes and styles I mean I've the thing I see nowadays is people wearing fedoras with hoodies I mean why not? Why not wear a fedora with a hoodie? I mean, live life to the fullest, I guess. But for this hat here, we've got a classic 
nice brown brim on the tip of the hat and it's a uh, I guess a it's a green of sorts I'm not sure what kind of green you would call that maybe maybe vomit green who knows I'm not a professional anyway we've got a nice little logo here it kind of looks like a K but I don't think it is which is fine it's okay it is a K. The, the hat is done by a brand called Kenny K. It's 100% cotton, and it's made in China, so you know it's good quality stuff. Step out of the way, Louis Vuitton. Kenny K, made in China, is coming for your spot. Anyway, would you like to try this on? No. No, you wouldn't. You don't want to try this on, really? Oh, you're crazy. You're missing out. You're missing out on what could be. Now, I only have one more hat for you because we're a severely bankrupt store right now. But um, the next hat I have for you, and the last one, is a another decades old hat. But it's one of my favorites. It is the flat cap newsboy hat. Baker's boy cap. Yeah, there's so many names for it, but it's a classic. It's uh, very nice, very flattering. It's like a fancy baseball hat, in my opinion. You can pair it with a suit. You can pair it with um, suspenders. I mean, just suspenders. If you're wearing only suspenders, you can pair it with that. I mean, there's really so many options out there. And if for some reason you want to tap on it, it makes a pretty psychedelic noise. And it's made of whatever material this is. It's kind of got a, uh, a charcoal look to it. If it were tweed, sort of. I don't know what I'm saying. Do any of these words make sense to you? It's made by... Send your good luck. What? I think it's supposed to say sending you good luck, but it just says send your good luck, so take with that what you will. Anyway, it's made in Korea. High quality stuff. Hopefully it's not North Korea, but anyway. It's a very comforting fit. It's a one size fits all because it has that stretchy material right there. This stretchy material right here. So, anyway, this is what we got for hats. Do you want to try this one on? Let's see how it looks. Yeah, and it might, I mean, it might work for you. It might not. It's really personal preference, you know. Uh, you don't like it. You don't like it at all, okay? Alright, well, I'll take that. I'll take this hat and just. Throw it over there. So I guess the only hat you uh, you liked was this hat. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you that we are not selling this hat. Actually, this is display only. So uh, I guess you're walking away today with no hat at all. Uh, so this has been quite the adventure. I'm glad you spent your time here. I'm going to start and lock the doors now so you can't leave without paying me some kind of money just for compensation of my time. You know, I have, as a bankrupt hat store owner, my time is very valuable. Anyway, thank you so much for coming in and I will, uh, well, I'll see you in jail. <laughs>